Hey guys, Sam from Everything PSP here. Today we're back for the final video in the Medal of Honor Heroes series where I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool out of bounds glitch. Now all you need to do is hop into the Belgium Ranch map and you'll see here, I'll uh, just quickly grab this health pack and we'll make our way towards this building. Uh oh, there's someone on the horizon there. It's Christopher. Just get rid of Christopher and uh, make your way to this building here. This is the only building it seems to work on. You want to walk in and go upstairs and come over to this window. All you want to do is to jump out the window. Be careful that bots aren't going to shoot you when you hop out and just gently, gently make your way out the window. If you go too far, then oh no, I think we're going to die here. Yeah, Stefan got us. Yeah, if you go too far on that jump, you will fall off the roof. So you just want to be very careful and just slowly edge your way across the threshold of that window. We'll just get rid of Christopher and Stefan there so they don't bug us while we try and perform the glitch. And we'll try again. So coming through the door, back up the stairs, coming up to the window. It's a good idea to look down to get your bearings. And once you come out and you're on the windowsill, you want to sort of edge out to the side like this, just until you're standing on the roof, and then you can walk up and around. So if you want to pause uh, at this stage of performing the glitch, you can. It provides pretty good cover, and you've got a good view of about half of the map, so it can be quite a good place to pick people off, especially as they're not expecting you to be up here. You can see it gives you a good vantage of the bridge there, as well as further up the hill. Now the next tricky bit is going to be jumping over this fence here. It does take a few, whoops, it does take a few tries to get it right. Someone's shooting me. It's Christopher again. How did he get on the roof? God damn it, Christopher. You're ruining my video. Okay, sorry about this, people. We'll just have to... Get rid of Christopher here. He's not being a very good NPC for us. And Stefan as well. There's also this little chimney I'll show you. It's um, transparent, as in you can walk through it. So I don't know if that's really any use, but uh, it's kind of quirky. Okay, so Christopher has essentially killed us. Oops! I'll just try a few times to get this jump right. You can see you can't. Oh! Okay, so you can't just jump willy-nilly, you have to stand roughly here and sprint and jump at the same time, and there we are. We've landed outside the map now. That's really the only angle that you can perform this glitch, and Christopher's on the roof again, but we'll just ignore him for now. Normally you'd want to be traveling over this way to climb up the mountains, but I'll just quickly show you as well what else we can do. Um, so yeah, so we'll go up the mountain, so you can climb up here, do some parkour, jumping, jumping, all the way to the top. Just be careful you don't fall back into bounds, and there's Christopher's come up to ruin our day again. Alright. So yeah, this is pretty cool, you can wander around. Just have to be careful because there are some sections of the floor that aren't actually, uh, there's no collisions on the floor, especially down here um, in this little trench area. It sort of prevents you from getting any further across to the right. So if we go here and fall into this trench, there might be a way to get across here, but I haven't been able to succeed with that yet. Um, but yeah, so once you're down here, you're pretty much stuck. Um, if you walk towards the end here, you go through those logs, and off the edge into the Eternal Abyss, and we can see under the map now. And unfortunately we will not respawn here, um, there's no, no floor to this section, so even trying to throw a grenade it just disappears into the ether, there's really no way out. Luckily I've got a save state, so... We'll just reload that and I'll show you the glitch again from the top. Okay, so here we are. 
we've transported back to the roof and again jumping so that's probably the best angle is to sort of take it at a 45 degree sprint and then jump over now I'll show you a bit more of climbing the mountains you can go up here up this ledge you want to try and scale it sort of like the way you jump up a mountain in Skyrim um, sort of just keep jumping at one angle and then you can always turn back against yourself and then jump the other direction as well to try and get some more height and we're nearly at the top now we turn around continue jumping this way so back in the day I do remember seeing a lot of people doing this online and I could never figure out how until now um, you know 10 years too late or even more so now 15 years later all right so we've made it we're on top of the mountains uh, this pretty much gives you a vantage point where you can see the whole of the map um, but obviously that also means that anyone on the map can see you as well get rid of Stefan there hopefully we don't run into Christopher again because uh, he'll just ruin our playthrough and I might give this another go so you don't have to listen to the heartbeat constantly uh, you do want to perform this trick on full health because the fall damage once you go off the roof doesn't really leave much to spare and you've also got to be careful that you don't fall off the edge there and um, you know there's no way to come back from that so you can hide inside the waterfall but just be advised that you can't shoot out of it if there is a collision on the waterfall so you can use it as cover but aside from that you do have to sort of expose yourself out here in order to get a shot off there's Christopher again get rid of you Christopher this is currently my least favorite NPC in this game and um, off camera he's he's actually ruined this this attempted video a few times so got to say Christopher is definitely a good shot there he is again bastard okay so yeah this is basically it the glitch allows you to circumnavigate the whole map without any worry of uh, anyone sneaking around and trying to attack you but I'll just redo it again with some more health so you don't have to listen to the heartbeat and um, let's see what happens here okay so once again we're by the building we're going to go upstairs and through the window jump through going to make our way up and over the top and this is the angle we're going to jump at so we'll just make our way up turn around and pretty much from here whoops uh, from here this is where you want to jump and you want to go at that angle pretty much from landing about there hey oh my goodness it's Christopher again He's on the roof this time. How the hell did he get up there again? So it's not normal for the bots to uh, chase you up there, but it looks like Christopher is also keen to try the glitch with us. So let's, uh, yeah, there he is. He's up on the roof. And he's already taken us down to so much health. Or so little. Looks like we have to reset our run again. Okay. Right, so we're back on the roof. We've dispatched with, uh, we've sorted Christopher out. Now let's jump over here. So you can see the amount of health you lose there is quite significant. And uh, just checking for Christophers around the place. Okay, we seem to be Christopher free. What the hell? <laughs> okay, I've never seen this before. Christopher has managed to also perform the glitch. Um, he seems like he's really after us, so we'll just go and hide over here. I can't believe that. I thought I was special for getting this glitch pulled off, but it looks like it's just nothing in the day in the life of Christopher. I'll take him out again. Sorry about the persistent uh, Christopher shenanigans there. It seems like he really has it in for us. Let's see what we can do to uh, evade his attacks. Seems like everywhere I go... Oh, I've fallen through the map again. Seems like everywhere I go, Christopher's not far behind. And uh, 
The save state's not helping us. Where he's just throwing a grenade. Oh, okay, and he's just teleported back in the house. Well, that's that's actually okay. At least he's out of our here. So we'll go back up here again. I'll show you the uh, the mountain method. And if you try and get up higher earlier in the mountain, it makes it a lot easier to scale. Um, you want to try and get as much height as possible so you can get up on top of the highly detailed uh, polygons here that will let you ascend the mountain quickly. And yeah, I generally tend to hang around towards further towards the back um, by the waterfall. Seems to be a good place to pick people off from. So you can come across here and pretty much once you're at this point, it's quite easy to get on top. Then you can just run across, uh, across all of the ice there. Just want to keep an eye out in case there's any more pesky Christophers about. There he is. get rid of him okay we'll carry on now back to the waterfall so yeah this has been the Belgium ranch glitch if you guys enjoyed uh, watching this glitch video let me know in the comments and if there's any other games you want me to cover happy to do so this was just a quick bit of uh, extra that i didn't really think fit into the permadeath run so i wanted to make a separate video for it and there's christopher again so uh yeah that's basically it we'll just try and uh god damn it christopher well i guess that about wraps it up for today's video then uh, if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to stay notified of future releases We've got some really cool content coming up on how to install DLC, as well as covering the Tom Clancy collection, and we'll also be revisiting the Star Wars franchise. So if you're keen for that, leave a like and subscribe, and if there's any other games you want me to cover, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Everything PSP.